Hello everybody and welcome back to the next instalment of the Vlog 12th Man episode. And today we're going to be talking about everything that's happening in the world of football, within reason. Not everything, not everything, and that, that would be a lie, but the, the, the key points, the important things in football at the moment, the big talking points. And first on my list is Alexis Sanchez and his potential move to either Manchester United or Chelsea. Now, Manchester United have offered Henrik Mkhitaryan as a straight swap for Alexis Sanchez. Um, will Manchester United fans be pleased? I would say that they would be fucking bouncing, to be honest with you. Sanchez is, is top draw player, absolute quality. And I think he would he would really bolster Manchester United's attacking options. I mean, Arsenal, in, in, in you know, in, in terms of the switch from, from Mkhitaryan, I mean, would they be pleased with Henrik? I think they'd be pleased. He's a good player, but he's nowhere near the class of Alexis Sanchez, and he hasn't um, he hasn't played enough for me in terms of I mean possibly through fitness, um, you know, injuries and you know other things. But um, Jose clearly doesn't want him in the squad anymore, regardless of what's in the news. And um, you know I think he's he's just fallen out of favour and. Will it happen? Potentially, yeah. I, th I think, I think, I think, I think the likeliness of him going to Manchester United is higher than him going to Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea's attacking options uh, are a, a class, you know, uh, as 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 is Man United's. But I think Chelsea's left side with Hazard and Alexis does sort of play in that sort of left channel, you know, coming inside. I I I, I, I can't see him. I can't see Hazard losing his place in that team, you know, personally. Unless he takes Sanchez up front, which means, you know, dropping Marathi. Unless, then again, Sanchez could play behind the striker. So, you know, there's plenty of options there for for Sanchez if he went to Chelsea. But I think the likeliness for me would be that he's going to end up at Manchester United. Also in the news, um, the big talking point over the weekend was the uh, Liverpool's home victory Anfield against um, Manchester City so the unbeatables um, have been beaten this season and you know to be fair Manchester City played well the um, at, at half time at 1-1 I think they came out in the second half and to be honest I thought uh, Manchester City looked the more likely of the teams to score they had a couple of chances, and in all honesty, I thought if you know if Manchester City had got that second goal, I think I'm not gonna, I'm not saying that they would have walked away with it, but I still think they were more likely to you know come away with all three points. But uh, Liverpool were lethal, absolutely lethal, and they pressed high, which is what you've got to do against teams like Manchester City. You've got to keep pressing them and pressing them. Something that Jurgen Klopp's brought to uh, to Liverpool. And um, you know every goal was was class. Every goal was class. I mean, Salah's goal. I mean, Edison came off the line, but regardless of that, you've got to finish it, and you've got to finish it from distance. And that's something that Salah did. Something that you know he's been doing all season in terms of scoring goals, in terms of form. I mean, he is the golden boy of the Premier League so far this season, and I'm sure he'd be pleased with the, with that finish. Yes, and. Um, does that mean that Manchester City are going to go on a slide? No. No, not at all. I still believe they're going to win the league. I still think that um, that for, for for them to lose four games between now and the end of the season, you know, a hell of a lot's got to happen. I'm not saying that it won't, but I think it's highly unlikely. Um, next season, will Liverpool compete? Something which I've mentioned in a previous video and something which I've, I've also mentioned on my Facebook page. Um... I think that they will if they can just, you know, it's that same old story, strengthen that defence and they will be a force. Virgil van Dijk's there, great, but there's still a lot more to do. I think Gomez is looking like a good player, a good addition to the side. So, um, definitely there's uh, there's good things happening at Liverpool at the moment and I think if they can do well in this transfer window and the summer transfer window, they, they, they could be a force next season. To my club, Stoke City, and Paul Lambert is the new manager of the club. And 
when I first heard the news, was I happy? No. No, it was the most uninspiring choice of manager I could think of, or one of them. I wouldn't say the most, but he was definitely one of them. But when you stop and you have time to reflect and, you know, the fans at Old Trafford on Monday night, you know, shouting his name and, you know, fully getting behind him, it just makes you, makes you think, you know, you've got to support your club. You've got to support whoever comes in. I mean, over the years, as, as a Stoke fan, we've had some decent appointments, but we've also had some shit. Please see, you know, Chip Bakes, Steve Cottrell, Chris Kamara, you know, Johan Boskamp, in, in honesty. But anyway, Paul Lambert, I think him coming into the club now, you know, he's he I think he knows he knows what he wants from the squad. You know, he's he said in the conference he was happy with his attacking options, which is great. And he also was happy with the defensive options we've got. I think he was just saying that we're we're lacking in confidence. Something which I mean is plain for everybody to see. And we're lacking in a bit of discipline, which he's absolutely bang on with. So he needs to change that. He says he's going to change that. Um, hopefully he'll bring in a couple of signings. I mean, I know he's already spoken about players like Imbuli, who are out on loan, and Bojan, who potentially could come back in. I think Bojan is more than likely going to come back in January. Imbuli, possibly, he might say, you know, you stay where you are till you know the beginning of um, next season, and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll look at things then. And hopefully he's going to turn the fortunes around of the club. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I mean, I know there's quite a few fans out there that find it fucking hilarious. And they think, oh, you know, you're definitely going down. Which they're entitled to think, you know. And like I say, when I first did the, you know, the announcement, I thought, shit, we're going to be in trouble this season. But with a new manager brings new hope. And I'm hoping that he can keep us in the Premier League this season. And um, we'll have to just wait and see. This is only a short video today, so um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe in the description box below, and um, I will see you next time. So, have a good one. See you soon.